hello everyone today is a beautiful day the lord has made for us on behalf of the founder and general overseer wife and team we are glad you are here with us and welcome to holy ghost deliverance in christ ministry international aka paul l becker ministries our mission theme is jesus finished work movements and our mission is to preach to all nations about the good news which is christ jesus and the power of the holy ghost indoors and outdoors meetings are our main goals for reaching the unreachable people. Church planting and making leaders is all included in the package. A place where everyone is welcome to meet God and make their supplications through Jesus and the Holy Ghost. Our monthly and weekly programs. Every first Sunday of every month, we have Holy Communion and every Sunday's online live stream services at 11 o'clock a.m. And every Friday's we have Holy Ghost Hour, Deliverance and Baptism with Holy Communion at 5.30 p.m. Some Holy Ghost Hours on podcast start, start time is open anytime, any day. One, experience and practicals. Two, cost of being a disciple. Our office hours are Monday through Friday, 9 o'clock a.m. to 5 o'clock p.m. For now, all our programs are online. You can find us on Facebook, YouTube, or our website and more. Please, our followers, if you are led to be a support to our mission, you can follow the link online. If you want to contact us, you can reach us through the phone number plus one two five three two two nine zero five five six, and our email address at Holy Ghost D. 2005 at gmail.com Please help me welcome Paul L. Becker and please do not forget to share, like and subscribe. Have a wonderful day and thank you all.
and amen and amen. People of God, it's another moment. It's another hour. It's another session that is called Holy Ghost Hour, Deliverance, Baptism, and Holy Communion. We are always glad to be here with the kingdom of our Father Yahweh and the gospel of His Son, Jesus, and His powered house, the Holy Spirit. We are about to start the session and as usual, as we said, this year is a year of singing, dancing, praising our Father, our Maker, our Savior, Redeemer, and our Helper, the Holy Spirit. So we do not have a copyright to the song that we are about to play. The copyright belongs to the songwriter or the one behind the sing and uh, he's called the grace is a wonderful young minister of the gospel by the name of frank edwards please stay tuned as we listen to his voice and his gift the grace and we'll be with you after we love you amen all right may we share the grace may the grace of the lord be with you and all that you do all right May we share the grace. May the grace of the Lord be with you in all that you do. Rock town in the building. Rock town in the building. Rich boy on the beach. Yeah. Ay, ay, ay.
May we share the grace. May the grace of the Lord be with you in all that you do. Rock town in the building. Rock town in the building. Rich boy in the picture. Ay, ay, ay. Amen and amen and amen. We are blessed with this and the uh, Afrobeat song that is done by our brother and uh, Minister Frank Edwards. The ministry and family, we say thank you. And we love you for your gift. We pray that the good God will elevate you in your ministration and more. Amen. My dear saint, my dear wonderful people, it's another moment again that we are here with the gospel of Jesus and the kingdom of our Father Yahweh. For those of you that are new, you already saw communion logo, we're going to take Holy Communion. So after the opening prayer, please prepare your communion and join faith with us. And we will shame the devil and lift the name of Jesus higher and higher and his love we bestowed on us forever let us pray our father Yahweh we are here again with wholehearted supplication we surrender our entire lives to you in the name of your sons Jesus and by the help of the sweet partner, teacher, comforter, mentor, the Holy Spirit. We say thank you again for another moment, another hour, another session. We are not better than those that have already left this world or those that are in the sick bed or those that are behind bars. We commit our entire lives, entire family, entire strength, movement into your hands. Whatever the kingdom of darkness, its agent, its demons, is doing, we terminate all their plans and strategy now in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you for this wonderful moment, this wonderful Friday. We thank you for the whole globe. We thank you for leaders, citizens, countries, whatever geographical locations they find themselves. We commit their entire lives, visions, dreams into your hands. Your name is called love. Your name is called forgiveness. Your name is called Second Chance and you gave us your son Jesus, our brother. He died, he rose, and he's seated at the right hand of you, pleading, interceding for us, even those that are yet to accept him to be Lord and Savior. We commit this session into your hands. We don't want to do anything contrary to you, Yahweh, Jesus. Most especially, Holy Ghost, you are here with us. We thank you for this moment. We thank you for this hour. We thank you for everything you have done. And we thank you for the things you know that are more important to be said. We love you. We worship you. We acknowledge you. Let your glory, let your mighty, let your wisdom 
bestowed on us. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, this session is open. Amen. My dear saints, our God loves us. He cares for us. He wants us to be His own. We hated Him and we gave our back from him and follow his enemy but in the midst of everything he still around us his love is unconditional and he endures forever today the communion we're going to take is called Covenant of Forgiveness. When you have unforgiveness in you, it hinders your progress, it hinders your growth, it hinders your divine clarity in revelations. My dear listeners, followers, forgiveness is not man's will. Forgiveness is not part of man's DNA. The more Jesus taught it fit and taught us that whenever we want to pray, we ask to ask for forgiveness, even those that have done most evil to us. One of the greatest weapons that Satan is using here on planet Earth is for you to hold bitterness, grudge against your fellow human being. For those of you that are out there, you cannot forgive anyone by yourself without the help of Yahweh God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. So today, this communion is going to center to whatever challenges that you are having, whatever bitterness that you are having against your fellow human beings, that this covenant of Jesus, in the midst of everything, Jesus saw what happened to him. Jesus saw what they did to him. Jesus saw the cry, he wept, but he said, Father, forgive them for they do not know what they are doing. So my dear saints, this is the middle, the three weeks of the month of the sixth month, June. Do not allow this month to finish without you asking God, Jesus, the Holy Spirit, to help you forgive. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, this new covenant will help you eat and drink and say the last prayer. Amen. drink recite the Lord's Prayer, the Our Father, to yourself, and it shall be well with you. In 
Jesus' name. Amen. On behalf of my sweet family and the entire team, we say good afternoon, good evening, or good morning, according to your geographical location, wherever you are watching us from. And happy Friday. My dear beautiful people, and uh, it's very important and pleasant to be in the presence of the Most High God irrespective of wherever you are or who you are. There is nothing that is more sweeter than you allowing yourself to be in front of or seated to hear the good news and the word of our maker, our father, God. We are still dealing with one of the greatest author or character in the Holy Bible, which is called Nehemiah. One of the fastest way that Satan is using to promote his wicked agenda here on planet Earth is by attacking leaders. Leadership is very, very important to God. The more the reason when he created his plan and manifested it in the physical form that is called planet Earth or this world, he placed everything that human beings should work with to take care of what he has created and he pronounced governing leadership on it and we saw how God is very organized and his ways is what me and you needed here on planet earth because we are like him. He doesn't jump. He doesn't skip what he called leadership. It doesn't matter who is leading you, how structural he or she is, or their background, or you name it, or how educated they are. Those are not moved by God. Those are materialistic. Those are the strategy of this world. God plans for human beings. None of us knows the physical qualification or education of Adam. He has the greatest education he has the greatest qualifications before he fell before sin entered him because the one that has wisdom the one that created everything he tested him by creating everything and god brought them to him and he was wise enough, smart enough, educated enough to name everything here on planet Earth. So that tells you, whatever you are seeing here on planet Earth, whatever qualification you have, whatever achievement you have, 
is not something you should take for granted. It's not something you should be boast of. That is why Nehemiah type character is very important to project in this century that we are. When a leader identifies his or her self that all what he or she has acquired is not by himself but God is the source of everything. That is why Satan is so quick to manipulate, to deceive, and to pollute their minds. We saw when man, human race, failed, when God came, God saw who did the act. He saw everything, but he played as if he didn't see. And that is why when they started complaining, he asked them, who told you that you are naked? But when he came, what he did? He didn't call the one that committed the sin. He called leaders. My dear saint, my dear followers, there is no president or king or queen here on planet Earth. Do not mind what they are projecting in the physical. Do not mind what they are jumping around in the physical. But in their quiet times, which is called their conscience, which is God, they themselves know that God is the source of everything. The Bible has told us the Bible has categorized, distinguished, projected everything to us how God dealt with leaders in a good way and in a bad way and some of them leaded to repentance. There is no wicked leader here on planet Earth in our own time that doesn't know that there is a God that exist. Let me leave him a race. The very Satan, the very demons, or the very leader, Satan, knows God very well. He knows God very, 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 very well. And he communicates with God very well. And he does nothing here on planet Earth without the move. Without God allowing him. Nothing. There is nothing human being here on planet Earth now. If Satan that is behind all wickedness that cannot function without God allowing. Who dare you? That is why he is called accuser of human race. That means he communicates, he reports you to God. The only thing that is lack in Satan, Satan doesn't love God. Satan doesn't have second chance. Satan has been cast, has been crossed, has been labored by God and God cannot reverse it. Just like what the Bible says, when wickedness has overcome human race, God we hand over them to Satan. That is why we are here that doesn't compromise and telling you that Satan is powerless. 
but he pretend as if he is powerful. We are not in the Old Testament. We are not in the Old Testament. Or we are not in the Old Covenant. We are not under Mosaic law. But we are under the Messiah, Jesus Covenant that came and took our shame. He was tempted. He was tried of all time he failed not. So why, you may ask, why we are still emphasizing on Nehemiah type? Nehemiah type is very important from zero to somebody and he loved God. He feared God. He respected God the same he manifested to him a race. He was in high position that he could be like those that were before him. But he listened to the people that he is governing. He listened to their cry. And he took responsibility. He took their shame. He took their burden. He prayed. He fasted. He repented. And God helped him. And his 12 years as a governor, everybody was happy. And a lot of restoration took place. So the more the reason we have given our right to Satan for too long. How? We God has called. We say no, politics is not part of us. We forgot that before before the gospel of Jesus Christ came leadership was already in place. I don't know how often we have deceived God. We do not care about His leadership and we do not pray, we do not ask God that God forgive those that are in precedent, forgive kings, Forgive those that are in the helm of affairs. When Jesus came, he has all the power. He's a God man. He respected kingship. He respected president. He never disrespected them. When they asked him that, Mister, you have to pay tax. His ministry was stand still until he fulfilled that. When he was in front of trials, he said nothing contrary, but he allowed. That tells you they respected leadership. So, my dear saints, why we needed God type leaders? Here on planet Earth, there are so many errors. There are so many misguided. There are so many works of iniquities. There are so many deceit. There are so many biasness. When Satan has get hold of a country through their leaders. Only the mercy, only the forgiveness, only prayers, and only those that God has high marked to be his friend, that they will slow God and forgiveness and repentance 
we fulfilled. The history told me, it told us that Sodom and Gomorrah we are about to be destroyed. But God told his friend. And his friend asked God. And the Bible tells there we are a family that God listened when his friend asked. There are men and women in your country. There are men and women. They have passion. They have desire. They have become friends of God. They are on their knees. They are fasting and praying every day for that nation. That the anger, the disaster, the chaos of God will overcome. We, sub, we shadow, we slow his anger. God is in heaven. His effectiveness, his powerfulness, we see it not in angels, but behind the scene, the angels are walking and the manifestation are seen through human beings. Any effectiveness that you are seeing in the physical God whisper it to his servant. There is nothing here on planet act that God does without him communicating it to his servant. And he will use that servant's mouth just to speak a word and his effectiveness comes to light. The more the reason the Holy Spirit came and stay here forever with us. And ministry angels are here 24 hours making sure that who God has high marked, who God has befriended, that whatever command God speak to them through the help of the Holy Spirit, that those angels bring it to pass in a second. History has told us that God can just speak to human race. He said, this battle that you guys are going into, I don't need any physical, I don't need any weapon, I don't need any human made. But all I needed just to sing praises and the wars, the barriers, the brokenness manifest god uses different different method to destroy his enemy for his righteous people i don't know what is happening in your country but god is able to deliver you let us dive into the word of god and listen what he has for us today. We are still dealing with Psalm 37. And in Psalm 37, we have five sub mega things. It's called number one, praise, which is what is manifesting this year. Number two, God's power. Number three, forgiveness. Number four, thankfulness and number five trust let us read the word of god and we move from there for those of you that have read in front of before us we say thank you and last friday it was excellent the move of god was great and lives we have been delivered let me take it from verse 24 and we end it to verse 27 of Psalm 37. Though they stumble, they will never fall, for the Lord holds them by the hand. Verse 37, uh, 25. Once I was young and now I am old, 
yet I have never seen the godly abandoned or their children begging for bread. Verse 26. The godly always give generous loan to others and their children are a blessing. Verse 27. Turn from evil and do good and you will live in the land forever. Shandori Yaba Shete Mariyama Shete Marihi Baku Shete Mariba Sweet Holy Spirit This is your moment We appreciate you We acknowledge you Have your way have your way, have your way in our life. Have your way, Holy Spirit. Have your way in our life. My dear saints, I don't know how many stumbled you have stumbled. I don't know how many attacks have come at you. Where is your trust? Or how is your trust? Built. Is it built in your strength? Is it built in your materials? Is it built in your influences that you have? I am here to tell you, you have chosen the wrong path. Why can't you put your trust in God the Father, God the Son? And God the Holy Spirit. We have dealt. We have just read. When you have chosen God. When you have allowed God. To be all of you. Whatever challenges, whatever difficulties, whatever impossibilities, whatever that seems that you have no victory over, it will come to pass in a second. Why? Because you have chosen the one that have power the one that have control, the one that have sin over everything that has happened to you here on planet Earth. Because he was the one that spoke it. He was the one that said it. He said, woe unto this place. He said, because the devil has come. And he was the one that created Satan. He has control over Satan. Satan cannot do anything without God giving him okay. My Bible has told me that he was watching, he was spying on Job, he was moving to and fro how he can do wickedness, how he can do harm, how he can bring Job to zero but he was not permitted I don't know how many fear I don't know how many intimidations I don't know how many all has come at you why because you have chosen to follow God 
because you have accepted Jesus to be your Lord and Pastor and Savior. You have chosen the right way. There is no completions of a goal without going through hard way. What you are going through, God is behind it. The Bible say Satan was given the okay and God told him he said take everything but you dare not touch the life of Job some of you doctor has given up on you the system has given up on you everything has gone zero but your life is still alive and you are still serving God you have gone closer to your success and you have chosen the best way. Do not give up on God. God hasn't given up on you. God knows that you will overcome. That is why everything came at you. He has boasted about you. He has told Satan about you. Just as Satan went and complained about you, your calamity, your challenges, your ups and downs, job calamity was boasted by God. And God boasted it to Satan. My dear, Satan communicate to God every day. So do not be deceived. Satan talk to God every day and take instruction to God every day. He is here to deceive you. Satan knows the word of God. He knows the Holy Bible more than you. Satan is educated. Satan is knowledgeable. Satan knows what he is doing. He is well organized but your ignorance is what he uses against you there is no human being here on planet earth that satan has total control over them without god giving him authority The day the Holy Spirit opened my eyes, I saw Satan in the physical. I said, Shall Daddy have my Satan? You, when you are closer to God, when you are closer to Jesus, that is why Jesus said, When you obey me, you love me. You take my commandment. The Holy Spirit will open everything to you. My dear people, the name of Jesus is higher than all other names. It doesn't matter whether you are righteous. It doesn't matter whether you believe in Jesus. It doesn't matter whether you are a Satan. But when you call that name, God has given him name that is above all other names. And there are holy angels. Their duty is to make sure wherever the name of Jesus is called, whoever called the name of Jesus, wherever that name is being called, miracles, signs and wonders, manifestation will happen there but mind you tomorrow jesus will say i know you not oh jesus i cast out demon i do because the name of jesus is greater most of you what you are lacking 
your personal relationship with Jesus. Your personal relationship, your intimacy with God, your friendship with God, your trust with God. Materials. If you are behind God for materials, you are behind God for vanity. God has blessed human race. That is why you are saying wicked people still prosper. Wicked people still enjoy because he said it and he came and settled the matter. He planned his universe. He said, I have made these people I have created everything. That is why it doesn't matter how wicked wicked people does. They can still prosper. They can still eat. They can still live in the luxury. But within themselves, they are lacking happiness. That is why you will see somebody is so rich, filthily rich, but happiness is not fine in him or her. You will just hear that they committed suicide. They killed themselves. Why? He's, he or she is not poor. Because when Satan gives, he adds sorrow to it. But when you allow your friendship, your intimacy, your trust to be in God, when prosperity comes your way, you are not worried about anything because you know you were right, you were grown, you were taught, and the prosperity came to you. That is why, for those of you, false pastors, false churches, they will never call Satan's name. Because Satan told them, Satan is well organized. All the deceived Satan is deceiving them. They will call the name of Jesus. Oh, Maria Bakoriyama. Because Satan knows who Jesus is. So, and Satan knows very well that the name of Jesus has good angels and even in Satan will bring resort when the name of Jesus is being called. Because he knows that God the Father has given Jesus name that is higher than all other names. And Satan knows that Jesus overcame. Satan went into the hellfire, into the lake of fire, and took the keys from him. So Satan knows who Jesus is. That is why when he used all his false pastors, all false prophets, all satanic churches, they always use the name of Jesus to camouflage, to cover up, so that you will say, oh, but they themselves knows. That is why I said it, that Holy Spirit came to represent Jesus. You may be using Jesus name wrongly. You may be using it. But one day, one day. The Holy Spirit will convict you. and say. Go to the same people. Go to the same congregation. Go to the same platform. And confess. That you are a false pastors. You are a false teachers. See what is happening today. So many confessions, so many truth, so many false pastors have been exposed. My dear saint, Satan knows what he's doing. And he knows he is subjected to God the Father Yahweh, Jesus and the Holy Spirit. And he uses your ignorance to deceive you, to blind you.
He told Jesus, He said, Everything has been given to me. He said, Worship me. He said, Whoever I choose, whoever I wanted, I will give this prosperity. The more the reason, when Satan blesses his people, there is no waste time. But the consequences, the very way he bless you, he took your information and tell God and tell everybody and you explosion will come one day. God loves you and he trains you that you will be a blessing. Just what the last verse we said. This 26 verse. It said, The godly always give generous loan to others, and their children are a blessing. So you are going through all those trials because God doesn't want you to be greedy. And God wants your children to be a blessing to others. Satan is greedy. Satan doesn't have forgiveness. Satan promotes hate. So for those of you that are carried away, out of my experience, most of the people that have deceived me, have betrayed me, is those, my weakness, as a young minister coming up, my weakness was, when people call the name of Jesus, I believe them so quickly until the Holy Spirit put me back to school, put me back to classroom, and I receipt. I see the exam. He begin to teach me. He begin to teach me, and I grow. So what I am telling you is out of experience. The school of the Holy Spirit, when you fail one aspect, you are always going to repeat he will teach you, he will teach you, he will teach you, and with practicalities, he will manifest them to you. He will open your eyes for them to see, because he is a good teacher. That is why the school of the Holy Spirit is long, but sure. We all have our weaknesses. I was so carried away when somebody said, Jesus, I am move away. I said, oh, that is the truth. But until the Holy Spirit. So I don't know. The kingdom of God is a process. The kingdom of God is a process. He will teach you slow but sure. But you will Use all your experience and teach others. That's why it doesn't matter how many stumble you have stumbled. I have stumbled and I have seen the rescue finger of Yahweh in it. It doesn't matter what has come at you. Another character, David. That's why I don't have friendship. You ask me how many friendships? No. Because I don't want distraction. Because I am fighting a stubborn demon, Satan, that knows what he is doing. He knows he is very organized. For those of you that doesn't know Satan, he is very organized. Satan knows what he is doing. He tree, he overtake you in a second when you are ignorant. Because 
God has chosen you to be his vessel to fight war and to bring victory to human race. To open your eyes to see beyond the walls. To see the wickedness, the heart of man. Human race. That is why sometimes I laugh and I feel pity for those that are celebrating in wickedness. Because they don't know who they are dealing with. Satan. I pity them because Satan is not a friendship of human being. He came to revenge. Because he failed God and God blessed human beings and Satan is your servant. Satan is your slave. Starting from Angel Michael, Angel Gabriel, all the angels, they are all servers. They serve us. So Satan, he himself is not, and he is your servant because we are peculiar. God called us his image. God's image is not in angels, and the angels serve us. So Satan pride found in him because he doesn't want to serve human being. He wants human being to serve him. So he exchanged your destiny. Instead of him serving you, you are serving him now. Oh my God, but deliverance is coming for somebody today. That is why when he comes in a nation, he attacks the leaders. And he will not just attack the leaders. He go around. He go around his administration. He go around who his very finger has pointed. Those that he himself, the leader, has appointed. He go around them and enter and brought all his evil ideas. And they place it at the leader now. And when chaos come. When God comes to town, not those that promoted that leader, because God will not even call who we are serving or minister. God will go directly to the president. He said, Where are you? How have you done? What have you been doing? We saw when God came, He asked Adam, Adam! Adam, where are you? Because God came, he saw who corrupted Adam. But God didn't go to the woman. He went directly to the leader. Who have corrupted you? Who have given you wrong ideas? Who have deceived you? It's not too late. By the time this service ends, by you accepting again, recommitting yourself, allowing God, allowing the mercy of Him, allowing His Son Jesus to overtake you and your life will never be the same. He wants to give your life to Jesus? You want to accept him to be your Lord and Pastor and Savior? As we are getting close to the end of this Holy Ghost hour of 184, for you today we came. For you today this message is for. For you today this deliverance is for. Because your hour has come. Your victory has come. Your rejuvenation has come. Your going back to God has come. Prepare yourself as altar call will be soon called. 
stay tuned i will be there right away you have decided make up your mind to come before the throne of grace to come before the throne of mercy forgiveness allow yourself prepare your mind the Holy Spirit is about to take control over you now The bold step that you've already took, that is the beginning of the Holy Spirit. Because convictions, after hearing the word of God, is done by Him, the Holy Spirit or the Holy Ghost. I give you a few seconds. Start talking to God. Start pouring your heart. Whatever by yourself he can do, he can help you now. Repent, not to me, but to him, Yahweh, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Raise your two hands like this in the form of surrendering to Him and call your full name and say, Jesus, your Father Yahweh gave you as a second chance. You took my wickedness you took all my desire that I surrender to Satan. My iniquity was on you when you were on that cross. You died, you rose, and you are seated at the right hand of your father. Your words, your teachings, your servant 
has projected here. I accepted you today. Take control over my heart. Take control over every aspect of me. My heart, my mind, my eye, my movement. In Jesus' name. Let the Holy Spirit take control over you now. Amen. We clap for you. You are a new person. Do not cry. It is well. Look at your newness shining on you. Look at the beauty has been restored. Look at your handsome face. Look at the glory of Yahweh is shining upon you today. We have no silver and gold to give to you. When the disciples believed in Jesus and they were asking him for their benefit, for their reward, They abandoned, they left everything and followed him. He told them, it is good for me to go. Because if I'm gone, the reward will be seen. And he told them, he said, do not go anywhere but stay in one place. He said, the Holy Ghost will come upon you. And when the Holy Ghost came upon them. Ordinary fishermen. He commanded a lame, a cripple. He walked in the name of Jesus. He commanded richest people, millionaire, billionaires, to bring all their wealth. And the sheer among. And the two people, a couple that lied in front of everybody, they died. So Peter said, hey, this is more than any what I was expecting Jesus to give me material. But when you get the spiritual that money can buy. There is nothing you can ask in God's name that cannot be given to you. As long as it is about the kingdom of Yahweh and it is not about selfish and greedy and wickedness, it shall be the authority being invested in me. By my Father Yahweh, in the name of your Son's name, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, and by the power of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost is about to come upon you now. All this ministry gives is for you to receive the Holy Spirit. Holy Ghost, Come upon your people now. Receive the Holy Ghost now. Receive the Holy Spirit. Receive Him now. Receive the Holy Ghost now. He's coming upon you now. Receive Him. Receive the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Receive the anointing of the Holy Ghost. It's coming upon you now. Receive Him. Receive the Holy Spirit now. Receive Him. Receive Him. Receive Him. Receive Him. Receive Him. Oh, Maria, man. Shete bara bako shete marihama. Shete baru abaku shete marihama. Ma kori hi baku shete rihima. Ma karaba kori hi ma kosete rihima. 
Maraba Kosoto receive the anointing of the Holy Ghost is coming upon you now. That is him. He's a gentle spirit. Receive him now. Receive the Holy Spirit. Receive the Holy Spirit. Oh, Mari Hiba Rama. Shete Maraba Kosoto Rihiba. Maraba Kosoto Rihiba Rihama Kosete. Maraba Kosete. Receive the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Receive him now. He's coming upon you. Oh, Mari Hiba. Look at that. Look at that great signs and wonder anointing is coming upon oh there is a very young man oh age of 24 to 25 oh my receive the anointing of the holy ghost is coming upon you take him take him take him take him take him oh my age 24 right now oh my that is the holy spirit Look at that man. Receive the anointing of the Holy Ghost right now. Receive him. Receive him. Oh, Mari Bakuri Hima. Makariba. Oh, Makaraba. Your call. Your call has been manifested today. Oh, Mariaba. Today, your call has been manifested. Oh, my. You have a great unction. Great anointing has come upon you. Receive the Holy Ghost. Look at you, oh Maraba, Roba Kusete Marima, Makori Hiba Kus, Simpson, oh Ma, oh Makori Hiba, great minister of the gospel. God has set you apart. Your time has arrived today. The whole, oh Makori Hiba Kusete Bar. I don't know, maybe today ministration is just for you. Look at that. Receive him now. The oil is coming upon you now. Oh my, look at those angels. Receive. Receive the Holy Ghost. Receive the Holy Ghost. Receive the Holy Ghost. Receive him now. The end. The powers of Satan. The demons. The witchcraft. The serpentine spirit. The marine world kingdom. The kingdom of Satan has falling out of you today you are now in your pressing your hour of deliverance has come to light oh mari hiba hiba makaraba kori hima maraba ba so tori hima sete kori hiba ria maria marko soto very young boy i was that age when the holy spirit visited me you are 24 to 25. Receive the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Receive him now. Receive him now. The devil has been put to shame. The devil has been put to shame. Your newness has begun. Receive him now. Receive him now. Receive him now. The Holy Ghost is working on you. Oh, my Rabbi. Shete bari hima. Shete mara baroba. You are a ball. Oh, maraba. He has come upon you. The Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost has come on you. The Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost has come on you. Be still in His presence. He's still doing work in you now. It is well with my 
by so by the blood of Jesus by the blood of Jesus by the authority of my father Yahweh in the name of Jesus and the power of the Holy Spirit this session this prayer has been sealed and settled no counter attack no retaliations will befall you in Jesus name Amen thank you Yahweh thank you Jesus thank you Holy Ghost in Jesus name Amen our saint our fans our brothers and sisters the ministry, the service has come to an end. But the Holy Spirit has never come to an end. He's still going to do something in you and your life will never be the same. Do not be evildoer anymore. Do not be the worker of iniquity anymore. We love you. Jesus loves you. Please, stay out of trouble. See you on Sunday. You want to be a financial blessing to this ministry? Your support to this ministry is highly welcome. And we appreciate you. And we say thank you in advance. Follow the links. And do your donations. And pay your offering. In Jesus name. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. We love you. Share, like and subscribe. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen.